In this class, we will learn about design intent and its importance in creating a design in AutoCAD 2010. Whenever we begin a design, it is important to consider how it affects editing, for example, speed and facility. We must also consider the purpose of an element as it relates to other elements, for example, part assembly. The design must be sketched according to its intent. For example, if we generate product families, it is necessary to demonstrate production steps, machining or casting, and other processes as well. This is how a design is created, and this is called the design intent. So the drawing can be designed based on the intent after considering its effects on changes and purpose. We must identify the way it relates to its entities. For this reason, we apply geometric and measurement relationships to achieve more agility and speed in design execution. In AutoCAD, design intents range from the correct definition of layers, inserted geometric limit constraints, and to dimensional parameterization. The setting for plotting designs are also added to the design intents. Each design element is based on layers, so that it is possible at any moment to hide an element to facilitate editing and viewing. Besides this, we must consider the fastest way to sketch elements for designing parts in order to save time. For this reason, we must employ the maximum number of resources, such as Flip, Copy and other program tools. For this reason, parameterization tools have been added to this new version to greatly facilitate design editing. This is possible due to the fact that measurements are linked to drawings and allow the insertion of geometric relationships effectively. In this manner, we can automatically change all measurements of an element when it is necessary to rework the design. So, by first defining the design intent, it is much easier to define design strategy in AutoCAD drawings. Through design intent, we can define how the drawing will behave while being edited. It is important to stress the fact that the design intent must be considered before starting any design, and this will guide your design sketching. It also defines what tools will be used, what geometric relationships will be inserted, and other related factors. So, we have learned in this class how to define the design intent to achieve enhanced productivity in your design creation or editing.